I'm Ian McIntosh. You're watching Behind the Line, Juneau, Alaska. Alaska was having the worst winter in 40 years this year. So we had to, at the last minute, figure out where where we were gonna go, where we would get it. Mac and, and our lead guide, Ken Sheeler, did, did a bunch of early recon and we ended up honing in on Juno. Finally, after three weeks or however long it's been, I was wondering what the heck we're doing here. We're finally skiing. We found our zone. We were comfortable with the snowpack and we just started taking stuff off. I mean, the whole mission for TGR now is to go out and find spots that never been skied. You know, like more of these discovery missions, going to zones that are unknown. We had a wicked morning and the crew was kind of like, okay, what now? And they all kind of turned to me because I really knew the zone the best. So we ended up over at what we ended up calling SMD, Sage, Mac, and Darren. It was pretty memorable for me because I had seen that face before anyone else from the plane. It was an awesome face. We gnarly tow in with the helicopter, insanely steep, and the glacier below was riddled with crevasses and seracs. <laughs> Dude, look at where we are. Okay, this is gonna be live and fun. Look at that snow, dude. Okay, Mac, you're up next. Copy that, I'm 100%. Go, go, go. Max line in particular was super rowdy. You know, he just charged it super fall line and it was an incredible experience and, and cap to the day. Have something like that in your mind for weeks and finally be able to slay it, those are the moments that I, I truly live for. You know, I'm, I'm waiting the next year of my life to experience those moments again. <laughs> oh, can you believe this day? Yeah, dude, that snow is insane. Alaska is kind of like the pinnacle of each season and without all the work that Ian did and without the like perseverance of everybody in the crew, it wouldn't happen. It ended up turning into one of the best Alaska sessions I've been part of. I've filmed a lot of urban stuff around the world and it's definitely one of the most unique experiences I've had. Iceland, I guess, sort of is offering it all. 